الشيخ عامر الجبار علي السليمان الشيخ عشان The, uh, the military, uh, as I recall the chronology, was told about these behaviors in early January, January 12th or 13th, I don't remember the date. They launched an investigation the next day, um, and that investigation was then pursued through military channels for the next few months. Um, I think it is clear that we should not condemn all the American soldiers in this country on the basis of behavior of these few people in the prison. And I've seen hundreds and hundreds of American soldiers working side by side with Iraqis to build schools and hospitals, to renovate play yards and municipal buildings to help Iraq rebuild its country. That is the true spirit of America. Well, as I said, I'm always optimistic. I don't see that damage is irreparable. Uh, in fact, you, you raise the, uh, the issue of Abu Ghraib. I think it's important for everyone to realize that the revelations about Abu Ghraib were not made by the press. They were not made by international organizations or by investigators. The revelations from Abu Ghraib came from American soldiers who reported the, the uh, violations that were occurring to their superiors who began an investigation. No society is without its evil people. The thing that we think sets democratic societies apart from others is that in a democratic society there is a process to discover the evil and to weed it out. Jamil, <laughs> yeah, shukran. Baghdad, 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 yeah.